Mmm. Grapefruit's yummy. And you know what else? You can make an incredible dye out of it. Not from the juice, but actually from the peels. And what's awesome is that you are using waste that you would normally throw away. Instead, you can throw them into your dye pot and you can create really lovely yellows. And it's not only for grapefruit, it's also for all citrus. The carotene in the skins is what gives citrus its colors. Now we've got red and hibiscus. We've got orange from yellow onion skins. And today we're gonna find yellow. <laughs> I was gonna say purple. We'll get to purple, don't you worry. Anyway, head into the kitchen and let's cook some color here on Color Quest. I'm Margaret Bird, thank you for being here. If you like what you see, hit subscribe and that little bell, ding! And that will notify you every Friday of new videos coming out about the wide world of natural color. So join me and let's get cooking some color.
So, how about that yellow? It's very pale and soft, but also very, very beautiful. One thing I did want to point out is that at the very end, I threw in a silk sample. And the reason I did that is because different kinds of fabrics will take different dyes in different ways. So I wanted to see what a protein-based fiber like silk would do as opposed to a plant-based fiber like cotton. And as you saw, there wasn't much difference in the mordant styles for this particular dye, at least the pot that I made. Now I did add in some mandarin peels because I also had those. So I had a combination of both grapefruit and mandarin, and I soaked those pieces overnight with the skins that can often help with the strength of the result of the dye. So what I have to say about that is just try it out. I have seen much deeper yellows made from citrus. So I do think it has a lot to do with the type of citrus you use, the freshness of the citrus and so forth. And that's pretty much the way it is with natural dye regardless. So I want to move on to green. And believe it or not, I have had quite a time trying to extract green from nature, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. But next time, I'm going to try to do that with a good old household green, and that is spinach. So join me, Margaret Bird, on Color Quest as we continue our search for color along the rainbow. Next stop is green. Enjoy it, a little tart.